Boo, end of ghost. And if there's something Xbox has always been teased about, it's having exclusives. There are a lot of memes making fun of how Xbox doesn't have exclusives. For example, Cuphead used to be only on Xbox and PC when it launched, but now it's on Switch and the PS4. The only exclusives Xbox still has, I think, are Forza, Gears of War, and of course, Halo. So Xbox decided, I'm tired of this. You know what I want to do? I want to buy Activision. And everyone's jaw dropped. And I think it's time for me to talk right about this. And how it happened, how it affects Sony, how it affects me. So let's just jump right into it. Sexual harassment is a delicate topic that should be treated with respect. Sexual harassment lawsuits is something Activision suffered from a lot during 2021, ruining the company's brand. The first lawsuit was filed on June 20, after a years-long investigation turned up stories of multiple women suffering daily harassment and abuse while working at Activision Blizzard. Even firmer and current employees decided to give their own testimonies and offer apologies to the ones that were hurt. Men and women were both hurt by this, and a lot of apologies were shared from creators and higher-ups who had nothing to do with this. Devs from other companies shared their pain and thoughts, like Ubisoft and Nintendo. The main person that wanted out was CEO Bobby Hothick. Over 1,200 employees signed a letter to make him quit, and suddenly it all came down. Government officials pressuring Activision Blizzard threatened the company's profits. And the worst thing that can happen to a company, besides bankruptcy, is union. To put it simply, union is basically having all the staff stop working and protest and protest against you. After all this, not all was heard from Activision or any social media revolving Activision. Crash and the Run stopped being updated, social media didn't share any news, and overall it was up to expectation what happened to Activision. What will happen with all the IPs? As someone who follows close Crash Bandicoot, there are videos saying, what if Crash went back to Sony, or what if Microsoft owned the franchise, that would be so insane. And out of nowhere, after all this drama, on January 18, 2022, after half a year of lawsuits, news, and hate towards Activision, Microsoft came in and said, need any help? For $3 billion, Activision was bought. Let me just say, this is one of the biggest gaming buyouts to have ever happened. Everything just stopped. Everyone looked at Microsoft and said, Wow, they actually did it. Candy Crush, Call of Duty, Diablo, Overwatch, World of Warcraft, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, and so on and so forth are now part of Microsoft. It's funny that Microsoft arrived on 2002 to present their, their console, the Xbox, so more than the GameCube, and now it's seen as one of the biggest rivals to Sony. And one of Nintendo's friends. Is now owner of 37 Activision's different IPs. And of course, if something interesting or slightly funny happens, you're gonna see it and you talk about it. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the news, I kinda freezed and thought of all the things that could happen. But one conclusion stayed in my head. It's a good time to buy an Xbox. Not everyone buys a big third party company that usually gives special treatment to Sony. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot and Switch League were most important as a PS4 exclusive, Tony Hawk has some special features, but that hit Sony hard. The actions went down 20 million dollars. Nintendo on the other hand, I mean they had Pokemon. Pokemon fans will buy anything with worth Pokemon on it. Now, that was happened to Microsoft. As you can see, Mostly positive stuff. What happened to Sony on the other hand? I'm ruined. I have nothing left except Spider Man. I love that scene. I love it anymore now. Oh, yeah, what did Sony did? They bought Bungie. Yeah, this is a weird move, but why? Bungie makes 
Halo, Xbox Big Name, and Destiny. A lot of our games have never played in my life. Sony bought Bungie for $3.6 billion. I tried to look for more stuff on this subject, but this wasn't that big of a boom. Or of actually any big of a news. More like if a kid bought a big bottle of soda to share with the class. And next day another kid brought 12 Krispy Kreme donuts. It's not gonna be that big of a boom. It's not gonna happen, but that's about it. And I doubt we're gonna get help from Microsoft. That would be impossible. And to finish now, what are my thoughts on this thing? I learned something. It's a good time to have an Xbox. I'll tell you that. Now we know Xbox won't take the games from Nintendo or Sony. They said that. And who knows, maybe they make time exclusivity, like 4 months, Call of Duty, only on Xbox, get it now. And later it comes to other platforms. Which maybe that's, not, that's what they're gonna do. I don't think they're gonna do exclusivity. But I'm just gonna tell you one last thing before I go. Xbox will buy you, so be careful. This is the gamer ghost, and I say I can finally play Candy Crush on my TV. Oh.